Hey, what's going on, people? This is Crown Crap Salute. You know my name. Uh, this is the the pump for the external valve, right? I'm sorry, internal valve. Okay, we're open. And if you look, it, it seems to be pretty wet, right? Like it's greasy, right? Well, that's because it, it developed some sort of a leak. And I think everything's tight. I didn't tighten up anything at all, but I think at one point it was leaking. Um, and so in that case, what you would do, so if this has, has lost oil, that means that when you go to pump your handle, it's not gonna have enough pressure in order to open up your internal valve. You see the indicator right there, okay? It's all the way up. In this case, I'm back here. Um, customers are actually doing the unload, but in this case, I'm watching just in case that internal valve drops. So far, we're, we've been doing pretty good, so I'm not worried about it now. But, um, yeah, so if you don't have enough hydraulic oil on the inside of here, when, it, when you go to pump, it's not gonna open up your internal valve all the way. Either that or it will, or you might find that your internal valve might just, just drop slightly over time. And then you have to come back over here and just c continue to um, pump your handle. In this case, I think we're okay. In the event that you do lose hydraulic oil, you can replace it with, with, with a motor oil. And basically all you would do is take this off, unscrew it, uh, put some motor oil on the inside. You might overfill it, try not to. Um, screw back on and then proceed to pump and then you should be okay in the event that you do that make sure that you take your um, trailer after you do the unload take your trailer over to the uh, maintenance bay and and let them know hey I had to put some motor oil on the inside of this in order to complete my unload and then that way they can basically go ahead and clean those lines out but in this case I think we're okay so anyway until next time y'all you guys be good be safe and all you do Bye.